19. Fed's going to serve it. Let's play pickleball. Side out. Glenn Johns and Emily Waters, by the way, entering North Carolina with 10 double triples, meaning they've yes. had that chance to win triples together zero, zero. many times. Point. I mean, covering some mileage early here. Great drop from Ben on the two-handed backhand. That was money. One, well, he's zero. used to it, but to go from mixed doubles where you're carrying quite a load at that side back to back with men's singles has to be right a grind up. on the body. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, they were pushed. Had that gone four, that's a factor. I'm sure Fed zero, was cheering one. for that. Like, yeah, Ben, stay out there and have to hit a whole bunch more. Point. Great rip from Fed there. And, you know, I talked about some of the players that have low one, one, floors one. and high ceilings. This guy has high floor, Side which out. is what you want. His partners can count on his level, and obviously in singles, his level is literally only second one, one. to one. I like the partnership, too, and mix with Fed and Rachel Rohrbacher. Yes. They lost a heartbreaker here themselves. Point. Yeah, they lost 14 12 in the third to Viv David and Thomas Wilson. So, uh, a lot, that's the thing, man. I mean, just be great down the stretch. And Two, one. Sometimes the pickleball gods will help you out too. A little net court at the right time. Point. So with the shocking losses in Austin for both Ben Johns and Ellie Waters, Three, maybe not one. a changing of the guard at the top, but the parity in the next up to Ben Johns and Ellie Waters increasing. Right out. Yeah, I think the difference is no one is consistently threatening them. Yeah. One, they jump three. in, but the gap from one to two on all three disciplines is still real. Now this guy, consistency-wise, is there. Head-to-head's where he needs to get one, and that's his opportunity today. And Fed has two, a coach, three. which I'll talk about after this rally, that has really helped him. Right Spent a lot, a lot of time talking to Mike Wolf, who's formerly Jack Sox coach mm. in tennis, has an unbelievable tennis background, reached out to Fed and said, I think I can help you with singles. Three, and my two. goodness, has this ever been a beautiful marriage of player and coach? Yeah, six for six in finals, I'd say so. Mike Wolf's phone Side might up. be ringing a little bit more <laughs> like, from some of these guys. How much time this cat got <laughs> there? I'd like to. <laughs> Fed's like, I've lost the number. I'm sorry. I cannot find it. Uh, too bad. <laughs> this out of Kansas City, but spends a lot of time in Naples. Point. Well, yep. now South Florida, but Fed stacks are re recently relocating to the east side yeah. of the state. Hotbed of talent. Three, three. Over in the Miami area. Side out. Just kind of ran out of uh, thoughts there. He was thinking maybe ATP, the ball didn't get wide enough. But you see Mike there and Pablo cheering three, on three. his buddy as well. Point. Good guess on the first one. Fed almost got himself back in it there. It's a good look at the crew. Mike Wolf right there Four, with three. his leg cross it next to Pablo enjoying a refreshing beverage. <laughs> Man, these right short up. angle volleys that he's brought into his singles game are so good because you have a player running side to side and the lateral movement a lot of the tennis players have. But then to be able to push off and charge forward, that's hard to do. So well done using that front half of the court, but using it in a way that isn't a drop shot. 
a drop shot can work sometimes, but it also brings your player Three, into an opportune moment. So love the variety of shots from Fed. Yeah. Try it out. Four, three. Side out. Three, four. Man, to track that down and then bring it down the line from Fed. The movement's great and the shot is even better. Four, four. Point. And a big rip from Staxrude takes the lead. Classic inside out from Fed that has been his go to Five, shot. Fed able to find an ATP there as well. Six, four. Slide out. It's charged up, really goes for the serve, and it's got to be part of it. Yeah. The big four, serve six. is big, so, as, a, as a part of the winning formula in singles. So, hate to kill your own run, but uh, that's. That's something you need to do. Wow, and the return Side off out. the baseline. How many missed serves would you say is in the budget in a matchup yeah, against so a player like Ben when the margins are so uh, slim? One or two, because if you just lay it in, you're just making life miserable for yourself. You need to get short returns, and Fed has gotten that consistently. Six, That's four. why you got to be able to walk, to walk to the line confidently and serve big, and that comes well before you get to the venue. Oh. Try it out. Ben was just waiting. You make the first move. That was sort of like a shootout in hockey. The shooter's always waiting for the goalie to make the first move, and uh, Ben did a nice job of waiting for Fed to take one step to the right. Four, six. Point. Five, six. Side out. Six, five. Wow. wow. And I thought he didn't put enough spin on it to keep it in, but Fed sure did. Major League Pickleball's Orlando Squeeze built their team around Fed Stacks route, taking him at 11. It's a quality choice. Again, you're looking for that Seven, guy that can win a couple matches. He's certainly capable. He's really up to his mixed game. Skinny singles point. Oh. Side out. Five, seven. Side out. Seven, five. Oh, Side out. well defended by Ben Johns. Yeah, just that's one where you know the court's open, but uh, making the proper contact in, in there when Fed is on the dead sprint. 
Five, seven. Point. That first volley really sets that up, Six, and then you seven. just got to be sure because Fed is not going to get back there. Right and Ben, as he comes forward, wants the ball to bounce on that Humana logo section in that uh, kitchen. And uh, since it didn't, then he's in trouble coming forward that aggressively. And this is, I think, a really important game one for Fed to take. The two matches that I talked about in 2024 have been Seven, straight six. game wins for Ben. Of course, Try one of those out. wins, Ben was determined to get back into the winning side yes. of things in singles. Slow start to the year for him. Got it in Mesa. Six, seven. Yeah. Side out. A lot of positive energy here today from Fed too, which is an important part of his whole repertoire. Yeah, you mentioned that bronze medal match. Fed and Pablo Seven, six. took home the bronze over Deckelbar and McGuffin earlier today. Point. That's a terrific dipping, like 80% pace, but all the spin. Eight, six. Point. Two in a row. Come out receiver, nine, six. Ben in singles. So fun. We appreciate that partnership with the Hurricanes, that's for sure. Well, the current player is out in the mix, too, yes. which is so fun to watch. Nice shot from Fire. Ben to the corner. Yeah, we had Seth Jarvis, Sebastian Ajo, Jesper Kokaniemi. We had Marty Natchez, Jake Six Gensel, nine. who just came over from the Penguins over here, and they are loving having him. Anna Lee referred to Seth Jarvis as the pancake man. He just kept Fire. doing it with the lefty. I know. So yeah, any, I, lo I just love merging our sport with others and, Nine, and just spreading the love of pickleball. Well, having traveled Try with out. NHL teams for the last 10 years of my career, pickleball is emerging with, you know, soccer is the typical sport that these hockey players play Six, before nine. matches or before games. It's turning into pickleball too. Just Point. enough pace and spin. So, Fed, you just don't want to get stuck at nine, and you got to find a way to take game one. Ben's dropped, as you mentioned, a couple game ones this week in some earlier matches. Eleven six both times to Kwong Kwong and nine. Christian Elshon in those game one losses. of each other on both sides and Fed Staxrude wins the cat mouse that time. Yeah, and that's what makes Fed now such a threat. He has the passing shots from the baseline and then he's got the touch and the spin and the disguise, which you need all three Nine, seven. at the cat and mouse kitchen battles. And a point. passing shot for a game point on the side of Federico Staxrude. Very loud C to go with that as well. And uh, when his Game forehand point. is ripping Ten through the seven. court, it is something to behold. Fed stops me, closes out. Game one, 11 7. What a point in the lateral movement of both. The official ball of the PPA Tour.
the difference. When you get those opportunities, you got to take advantage of them. He was very good in game one. doesn't get much better than this. Tom and Jerry right there. <laughs> that was fantastic. And uh, Fed will play fast when things are going well and the points are short. He also will take his time zero, and, go zero. and go to the towel and just get himself set for the next rally. Hmm. Slide out. Mix is in the lob. Ben's been chasing down lobs all day. Augie you know. Gutt and Noah Jaume threw a bunch of beautiful lobs from the kitchen in the men's doubles match. Oh, missed it. And exactly the shot he wanted did Stocks Root. Well, it's the one before that that uh, could have ended the rally. A big two in a backhand swing. Perhaps he doesn't do that much on the volleys, um, but didn't do enough with it. And... Ben is going to play a very methodical game. He's played a whole bunch of pickleball already today. One zero. Side out. Well, congratulations to Connor Garnett capturing the bronze medal today against Christian Elshon, 11-5, 11-6. Always right there. He was another guy that had a tough start to the year. It was him and Ben who weren't. You're like, aren't these like the ones? But there's so many. Um, it's it takes a lot to get there. Slide out. Also mentioned, worth mentioning, Jonathan Medina Alvarez who took out Jack Sock. That yeah. was a shocker in the round of 32. And then took out Jaume in the battle of the JMs. <laughs> One zero. Point. Two, zero. Man, just, just Point. catches there. I think he missed that. I think he missed that. I don't know what... The call was side out, but I don't know that this went in. Yeah, it was Three, indeed zero. wide. Wow. Side out. Ben's like, why did I run all the way and get the first <laughs> one when that's what, but that's what it takes with these two. They anticipate so well that they make it miserable for you to find that eventual winner. And that's where the mental fortitude of singles comes into play. You got to hit four or five Zero, tremendous three. shots to stay ahead in a rally. Point. One, three. Side out. Saw Fed point down the line. That's the opportunity he had. He tried to bring it all the way back cross court. But Servant Bay got a real good look at a forehand there. Just clipped the tape. Three, one. Point. Four, one. Side out. Good lead from Fed there. One, four. Point. Big serve, big forehand, big formula for success. Side out. Again, he points to the forehand side and like, 
because that way he wouldn't have had to clear his body because if you hit inside out, you got to get all the way there. He would have been able to pull that down the line with one less step. Might have been able to keep that rally going. Four, two. Get there. I mean, every one of these rallies is an absolute grind. And then I thought this dude is taking a bad step. Unfortunately, this is one of the wider center courts that we have because sometimes the next thing you know, there's video board there, not air. The least Time we can do five, for two. someone battling right now. So, uh, Norm, we're with you, brother. Says the pickleball community has been carrying him through, and he loves, loves to be out here doing this. Yeah. Side out. Two, five. Right the line shut. Five, two. delivered swiftly on the paddle of Fed Stacks route for the side out. Yeah, Ben was there, but didn't get enough height on it. And the difference between what the next match is and how much of this match is being played at the kitchen, there may not be one cat and Two, mouse five. point between <laughs> Anna Lee and Catherine. Point. Oh. The spin on that on the run and to dip it down into the kitchen takes advantage of a big serve Three, and a five. short return takes time away by getting there quickly. Try it out. Ben Johns has 35 career PPA singles titles, six of those in the finals against Dax Rude. Five, three. The next shot would be an overhead into the 50th row on the bounce, but you can't do that here. So Fed did not hit the best ball off of that, and Ben Six bought himself three. some time. Really intelligent choice there. Should he have taken that overhead out of the air, you think? Maybe it's hard when it's that high, yeah. like you the, just demons enter your mind. Like, how do I get set up? But the wind is very calm today versus Seven others, three. but uh, chose to let it bounce and just didn't do enough and then misses a return. Slide out. <laughs> Crowd like that one. Yeah, you saw Ben had to ski daddle out of the kitchen after he got the one off the tape and then left that way too high and Fed beautifully punches it into the open court. I mean, how good Three, are seven. the pictures here? The trees against that blue oh. background of the sky. Love this venue. Point. And the crowd capacity, too. How many people can fit surrounding center court? Point. I'll slide out. <laughs> <laughs> Fed's asking Ben if he'd like seven, to challenge <laughs> Fed's in call, and Ben passed on the. <laughs> On that oh, lovely, lovely offer from Fed, though. And you really can't win with short cross-court returns because you just can't get to the sideline in time. Eight, three.
Side out. Oh, a little off. Like, take one more step there. Ben doesn't usually just have his body out of control. Side out. We talked a lot about the four shots and the doubles. That's so good there by Ben because he knows Fed's charging in. If he gives him a ball that's up, it's going to get destroyed, gets the ball to bounce. Then he's in better position. Oh, no way. <laughs> Wildest point of the match so far. I mean, the talent of these two gentlemen is so great. How in the Fed, like, I just won the point. I mean, he didn't. No. How does he get there? Nine, three. I have to check right in up. with Noah Sarabin on what kind of footwork Come Ben's out, doing receivers. on the off Come days. Out. Yeah, pickleball doctor three, loves nine. having a... Uh, and if you thought you were the world's okayest pickleball player, no, <laughs> it is that dude right there. I love it. Side out. You can be the second best okayest player, but you are not the world's okayest player. And I love people tricking up the t-shirts and all the fun names of their teams out there throughout the country. Just kisses off the tape wide there for Ben. Three, nine. Another dynamic point between these two. I mean, the struggle is real. It's only 20 by 44, but it just feels gigantic when you're playing singles, especially with these angles. I mean, ATPs and singles weren't even a thing, and then now they're a thing, and then now everybody just gets them back. Point. Have another look at the last point we just saw. Game point. Yeah, that's uh, beautifully framed Ten against three. the blue sky. Fred, sort of tough spot for a lob. Game point for Ben Johns. That, yeah, Side up. says Fed stacks through. I like that he went body with that one. Surprised, Ben. Three, ten. Oh. Ben John's Side just up. toying with Staxford. Urging himself, you can hear that. Game point. I want to get there. Fed got there, ten, but just threw too much on it. Game point number two. Left, replay. Clank off the tape, or you play the serve. 10-3. Side up. Got it. Yes, he did. But these two in a backhand roll drops from Ben are disgusting today, man. You can hear the Three, exertion ten. of Fed. He thinks he's in a great position, and then he's suddenly in trouble. Side up. Game point. Ten three. Side out. Three ten. Point. Now that's a terrific two-handed backhand. There have been few and far between of passing shots with backhands here. But Fed definitely has that. You know, that's what makes Garnett so dynamic is he can pass on both sides. In fact, prefers the two. Four, ten. Eight. 
Point. Side out. Game point. Game point Ten number four, four for Ben Johns. Side out. <laughs> Fed is sure making him earn it. Yeah, he is. Just uh, if that thing bounces up on the drop, you can take advantage of that and go heavy spin cross Four, court. Really well done from Fed. Point. Another point for Fed. I mean, they talk about in heavyweight boxing that matchups make a fight. It is amazing watching this match versus most of the other ones where it's somebody coming forward and somebody trying to rip a passing shot. They're dropping so Five, often. Ten. We're getting all of this phenomenal cat and mouse battles. Side mm. out. Does make you wonder what was discussed a couple of timeouts ago with the bench. Mike Wolf, Fed Staxrude. Fifth game, game point. point for Ben Johns. 10 5. Oh, just Fire. barely snuck it in. Fed stacks through that Ben Johns on the ropes. Yeah, he's staring it down like a putt that was just hanging <laughs> on the lip of the cup, but it fell in. Yep. 5 10. Side out. Sixth try for Ben game to point. close out game two. Ten five. Point and game he eleven will five. On the count mass battles because they will continue Point. and that's big for fed to get a missed return here um ben One, has zero. talked about the good side being the top side of the court at least in doubles side out. and that is where the first two games were won and that is where ben will end up so we'll see if that indeed was and is the case here for him in singles Zero one. Side out. The other thing you got to do is you got to mix your mix your spots and get them on the other side to take one bad step somewhere, and that is all the difference. So the variety one, of shot making, you can't drive everything, you can't drop everything. Point. Pretty from Fed there. So that's a couple of winners on the two-handed backhand. One last game and one here. Two zero. Oh, Point. just misses that one. He thought he got Side it. Out. Time out oh, receiver. Man. Okay. This is this challenge. looks okay. Significantly wide. Uh, Referee come out. We have a challenge of the out call. The, the out call pushes it. Is coming, Zero but two. the challenge. After review, the call stands. The ball was out. Challenge is lost, but a timeout is lost. One timeout remaining. Two timeout remaining. We we'll resume play at 0 2. Yeah, that could be. Time in. Great. 0 2. Fed stacks are. to angle Point. both sides. 
Ben's on the board. Yeah, and they're both waiting for a ball that they can go aggressively on the angle because if you can't go aggressively, you leave that whole side of the court open on your side. So you got to make them take two or three extra steps when you're in that One, stare two. down cat and mouse. Ben got there first. Yeah. Oh. Oh. A little emotion from Ben Johns with that one, too, to tie it at two. And there's that cross court being able to pick it off, and then that open court two, two. and a uh, little fire. Try it out. And it's, it's, it's wild how one player's a little loud, and then it just inspires that from the other side. And Fed was two, two. definitely more positive with that, and the scoreboard certainly helps in game one. Side out. There's a big difference between tennis and pickleball right there. Ben is hitting an overhead. That would usually be game over. Fed has a great look at a two, full two. swing two-handed backhand. Just caught the tape. <laughs> Clean pass on the backhand side of Ben Johns. Yeah, and he has been dropping that to the backhand all day. So Three, Fed two. inched over. So that wasn't like right on the line, but because of the consistency of where that's gone before, that was good. Well played by Staxrud. And both players know when they are in these little stare downs that if the ball doesn't bounce, you are starting the starter's gun on a 40-yard dash the other way because you know you've left court open. Side out. Three, two. Wow. Talk about that short angle volley and Fed's like, come on, crowd, give me some more. <laughs> Two, three. Side out. Pressure both players put on the other to execute on the run. Three, two. Nope. Side out. Found the two eat down the line earlier. That one was a little deeper, a little more difficult, and sprays two, it deep. Right up. So these returns down the line from Ben when he is in returning on the right box have been very good because Fed, if he runs around it, it has got to be a clean winner. And Ben's just waiting, and that point Three, is over. Two. Side up. A little hacky sack there from both players. Here's the series numbers. John's leading the way. 8-2 on Stax Reed. I mean, that's an outrageously good point from Fed to not come away with anything. Ben's ability to anticipate down the line and then cross court there was key. Three, two. Yes. Side out. And you can see when Ben is serving on the left, these patterns are almost identical every time. Serve deep into the corner. 
a drive down the line from Fed. Ben was in a pretty good position, but Two, Fed three. is so good moving forward that he was able to cut that off. Point. Big rip inside out to tie it at three. And it's that difference, Ben, when he was returning well, gets it to the back corner, and then Fed's got to take extra steps. If one of those steps is forward, that forehand then can eat and did it ever right there. Three, three. Side out. Not sure at what point Ben changed his hat position to backwards, but. It's been a little while, but uh, <laughs> three, he's three. got it in means business mode. <laughs> Point. Point. Meant business on that shot. Four, three. Point. So clean. And you get the extra fist bump on that because he has been practicing and working on that so much. So that is not routine for him. So to be able to come through Five, with that in a game three of a gold medal match probably means just a little more. Yeah. Wow. Time Third game magic on the side of when the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it, challenging every limit, turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you, it's earned. Go next level with 6 0 Pickleball. Leah Jansen won the bronze in women's singles. Oh, come on, Ben Johns, that is just too good. Yep, the first one of the two that can take a ball that bounces up just a little high and then go, and that was eerily close to being out there. That was actually closer Seven to three. the line than the one Fed challenged earlier in this game yeah. three. I'll recall the score. Seven three. That might have been wide. I, live, it looked like wide to me too. Point. Oh. oh, no, there's a touchdown. There's a... Correction, slide out. I think Ben's going to challenge this one. Referee okay. timeout. We have a challenge of the out call. The out call currently puts us at slide out 3-7. We will now that's proceed that's with video <laughs> review. <laughs> it is After something After review, here. the out call stands. The ball was out. Challenge is lost, and All a right. timeout is lost. One timeout remaining. Two timeouts remaining. We were in play at 3-7, slide out. Thank you, Norm. And you do have many talents, Dave. Lip reading appears to be one of those. Time in, 3-7. Thank you very much, thank you. 3-7 <laughs> is the score. Oh, oh. It's a nice response out of the challenge. Yeah, just great job of having been so stretched out that he finally got one he can put away. Four, seven. Side out. That's the forehand he wishes was just a little better, a little lower, a little closer. And, and so that's the margin. It's. The side of the court, great, but it's got to be either a little Seven lower. You just want that to be popped up just a little more than he was able to get, and that is what it takes between winning and losing here. That ball's wide, too. Side out. So Ben's had two looks at forehands in middle of the court that he's just Four, sprayed seven. wide. Side out. And Fed does not stay down on that back end. He made one earlier in game one, and you're like, oh, okay. And then missed one, challenged it, was wrong, and now misses Seven another four. one. And Ben's going to keep returning down the line from that corner, I am sure. Four, 
Side out. In game two, you got maybe one miss like that the entire game from Ben. Four, so seven. a couple misses here. This is Fed's chance to get right back in it. No, nope. no, he won't. Here's where fatigue plays a massive role in this too. I mean, Fed played a, man, a bronze earlier today. Ben's played a couple matches. This has been a physical battle here today. So who can Seven, dig in and get the footwork where it needs to be this late in a match? Slide out. Let cord will help him out. Yeah, Ben knows he's in trouble on that uh, ball from the midcourt that uh, is nowhere seven. near landing in the kitchen. Side Just out. wide again. Fed's having a long chat with Fed. <laughs> you know, and after that first one, that's a ball sometimes Fed's able to get out seven of the air. Four driving forward, maybe not able to just trust that. Hold it. Hold it. Point. That's what Fed's looking for. Been stuck on four for a bit now. Correction, side out. It is still seven, four. Four, seven. And back within two is Stocksroot. He's able to run around and hit a forehand. It wasn't terrific, but uh, at least got the air from Ben. Five, seven. Side out. Seven, five. Charging forward and able to get the ball down after a lunging volley and eight five finally gets off seven. Oh my! Ben Johns surprises. Ball abuse. I think Fed just got a technical warning as well. Ball abuse. Ball abuse warning. Yep. Yeah, just thought he had it, and that's twice now Fed's had sitters in this match Nine, and hit him either deep or right back to Ben. Side up. Five, nine. Point. That ball is wide before the ATP defense. So some of you cheering for Ben, uh, sorry. Six, nine. It's just too good. That backhand roll is a thing of beauty. Nine, six. Too big there and championship point, point for Ben Johns. Match point. Absolute battle of a singles matchup. Timeout receiver, 10-6. And a chance to regroup everything on the line Match for Federico Stacksrud. 10 6. Yes. Crown performance complete. Ben Johns claims his 119th career gold medal at the North Carolina Cup in 2024. That 
took everything that gentleman had. Well, Benny, ups and downs throughout this match, but you were determined to bring this one home. You could feel it in your stance and the way you walked around the court. What did you need to do? What were you telling yourself? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Fed's an amazing player. Uh, he's made every single singles final this year, so uh, consistency is, is the word that comes to mind with him. So you know you're going to get a great match from him, um, and, and you have to play well. Um, so yeah, I think the wind definitely played a factor. Uh, started against the wind. Um, felt good going into the wind in game two, and once I got that one, I was like, all right, we just need a, a decent start in game three, and then we can uh, get to the better side and, and finish out. Uh, and I got that, and um, I think it really just came down to, to finishing without, uh, without letting up at all. Well, you had to play in three finals today, and I could feel the exhaustion. I know these are long days, long weeks. You said this tournament stretched long for you. What are you doing for your body to make sure you're able to physically finish these days? Uh, yeah, so uh, I got my physical therapist uh, here with me. Actually, it lives uh, near, near here, so that's uh, very convenient. Uh, so a lot of stretching, some, some stuff like that. Uh, physical therapy is definitely help, helps the body, but uh, when it comes down to it, playing for <laughs> three matches in a day is, is never going to be easy. So it's, uh, at, at some point, it's a mental battle more than a physical one. Well, this locks up your first Triple Crown of 2024. It's awesome to be back on top. How good does that feel? Yeah, you know, not, not an ideal start of the year in my mind, but, um, you know, better late than never, right? So, uh, no, I was very determined to get this one, uh, and I'm just happy I could pull it out. Well, congratulations. It's trophy time. We have Jake Weinbach, tournament director from the PPA, to present for you this Fanatic Sportsbook trophy. Ben, congratulations on another men's singles title and yet another triple crown feat. On behalf of the Carvana PPA Tour, it's my honor to present to you the Fanatic Sportsbook North Carolina Cup presented by CIBC Championship Trophy. Congratulations, Ben. Congrats. Michelle. Hannah, thanks.